Okay, so we're here today to talk about introductions. So just like when you meet somebody new, an introduction is the first impression. The introduction or the first paragraph of your essay is the first impression of your essay. So it means there's a, you know, a little bit of pressure there because you want that first impression to come off well. Um, so just want to remind you all, like I always say, that a rough draft, even when it comes to the introduction, should be assumed that it's going to be just that. It's going to be rough. Um, if you focus on getting a perfect essay the first time through, if you're focused on getting that perfect hook and the perfect introduction to your paper in your rough draft, you're just going to find yourself stressed and stuck on this first paragraph. And that can lead to hours of frustration. Frustration and stress do not lead to good writing. So I always say, let this just be possibly a not great rough draft, except that your rough draft is going to have imperfections and apply that to your introduction. It's going to have imperfections. So when you start it out, accept that. Know the format in your mind, what you want to get across. Work that into your introduction and accept that there's going to be imperfections in order to let the writing kind of just get flowing. Get that entire paper done and then go back and you're going to edit. The difference between a great paper or a great writer and a not so great paper or writer is the willingness to go back and edit. Very, very few people, myself included, uh, could sit down and write a perfect essay the first time through. We all need to go back and edit. So when you're writing this, it is your first impression. It is very important, but accept that you're going to have to go back and do some editing and just let that first introduction flow. So with that in mind, I want you to picture an introduction paragraph as an upside down triangle. It's going to start out broad and then it's going to focus down into your thesis. So we've talked about the thesis in the past. The thesis is the main idea of your entire essay. I like to picture it like a, a backbone, right? It's going to be the backbone that runs through your entire paper. If that backbone isn't there, it's going to mean your paper is kind of wobbling around. It's not going to have direction and, and a misdirected or a, a paper with no direction uh, is, is going to um, fail to get the point across. And that's, that's not what we want to do. We want to, we're writing to get a point across. So you want to make sure that thesis is very clear and it's very solid. And then it's in this last sentence of your introduction. That's very important because that is generally where the introduction goes. While there's always an, an exception to every rule, there is generally the expect, expectation that thesis is the last sentence of the introductory paragraph. So whether you're writing for me or for your science professor or your history professor, they're probably expecting a thesis here. So it's important to have it there so that when your professor is grading through your paper and he gets through your first impression here, that he or she gets to your thesis and is aware that this is going to be the main idea of the essay. Students sometimes ask me if, well, doesn't that ruin the surprise? Do we want a little surprise about what it's about? Well, academics are expecting a thesis or a main idea right here. So you want to meet those expectations. And, and you could always work a little twist into your conclusion, but that twist, again, needs to support your thesis. It needs to go in line, keep that spine going all the way through your paper um, without any big surprises. So when we think again about the generality of the beginning, um, one suggestion is to think about a way to grab your reader's attention that relates to your topic. Um, it could be a rhetorical question, um, or it could just be a general fact in the area of your, your essay. Um, you're going to lead then down into a more specific sentence that leads into your thesis. So we are currently working on a Hemingway essay. This first essay is a Hemingway essay specifically looking at the Nick Adams series. So with Hemingway, uh, you have a lot of room for, for our hook, hooks, grabbers that can grab your audience's attention. Uh, so you could go with a general statement about Ernest Hemingway, and you do want to use his first and last name, uh, the first time you mention him. As with any author in an essay, you want to make sure that you mention the first and last name the first time you mention them. So you're going to say Ernest Hemingway, and you could give some kind of a, a grab there talking about him, you know, being a, a Nobel Prize winner or, or something along those lines or, or something about his life. Um, or because we're writing about Nick Adams and we're focusing in on his World War I time, you might go with a more you know, attention-grabbing fact about World War I, um, something that can kind of and then be brought into a more specific sentence where you're leading from Ernest Hemingway and the Nick Adams series that he's written, or the war and uh, Nick Adams and Hemingway being placed in that war down to a more specific sentence um, that's going to relate to your topic. So that sentence might then go on to talk about um, Nick Adams and his time in the war um, and how that war was traumatizing for him. Um, so that you can then lead on to your thesis. So we've developed a thesis together, which is while Nick Adams experienced several instances of childhood trauma, Nick's PTSD was developed during his time on the Italian front of World War I. So that's going to be the last sentence that goes here. 
So, like I said before, we want to make sure to kind of give a broad idea of Ernest Hemingway being the author and Nick Adams being the character that we're focusing in on. We need to give some kind of an attention grabber that's talking about World War I or Hemingway and then we want to lead down into the more specific sentence. Um, you're going to need to give some kind of definition of PTSD in the war and then you're leading into this main thesis. And again, you're getting all of this out on the paper the first time through and you're not stressing about perfection. You're just keeping in mind that you need that general sentence and you need a more specific sentence and you need a thesis. Now, it's not probably a three sentence introduction. You might have one or two sentences in each grouping leading down to the one sentence thesis or you know two or three. It just kind of depends on the topic and, uh, and you as a writer and the word limit because you always want to keep an eye on the word limit expected by your professor. Um, and then once you get all this together in your rough draft and you've got the entire paper through, then you're going to go back to this introduction and that's when you're going to edit and you're gonna make sure that that thesis is still fully in line with your entire paper, that your entire paper is focused on supporting this thesis. Um, that's when you go through and edit, you look for areas where maybe you could reword it. By the time you get the entire rough draft done, you're gonna find yourself a little bit more relaxed unless the paper's due at midnight and you waited to finish it until 11.55. Uh, you should feel a little bit more relaxed once that full rough draft is done. And with that pressure off, you can go back and edit these first few sentences a little bit more to get that first impression more where you want it to be to have that strong first impression. Once you've done with your introduction, you've got your hook and you've got your, your transition sentences that are leading into the thesis and you've got your thesis. Um, I like what this says here that it makes a contract with the reader, letting the reader know what's going to be discussed. After that, that's when you lead into your body paragraphs. And those paragraphs are gonna be very, very focused on the thesis and supporting the thesis. So it's important that you see this thesis as being the contract that's going to go all the way through your paper. So this introduction, this broad top of the paragraph is going to give that general introduction of your topic and the author, and then it's going to lead into that specific thesis that's then going to go on to the body paragraphs, which will focus on proving that thesis. So. There are uh, frequently questions. There's always questions in life. So if you have a question about the introduction, please remember that you can email me anytime. I'm also available in my office hours, but we can make an appointment as well if you need to meet with me outside of the office hours. So just shoot me an email if you have a question about introductions or about your paper as a whole.